Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. It's Monday in here and I really didn't want to leave you without the video. Now, the project itself with controlling a 3D printer over the mobile isn't complete, uh, unfortunately. I was hoping to solve all the uh, problems uh, by Monday, however, and that wasn't the case. I'm very close, uh, but I didn't want to leave you without any updates or videos, so uh, I figured I'm just gonna uh, give you uh, like a post update. So uh, if you have not, uh, if you don't know, I've built a 3D printer in my last video, and I did it myself. That's the Ender 3 printer, which is here. It was almost a piece of cake, uh, and I've never built a 3D printer before, so if you're looking for a budget printer that gets you started with a 3D printing, uh, it's a really good choice, you can find the link in the description of that uh, video. Now, uh, what I've been working on is basically moving this video, uh, sorry, moving this printer from this office because you can hear it makes a bit of a no noise when it's printing, the printer uh, times they're going to be counted in hours, so uh, this office is based next to the bedroom, it's not going to work. Uh, so if you want to attempt to move the printer like that, uh, you probably want to have it connected somehow to the internet and uh, have a way of monitoring it. Now the lazy way of doing it is obviously get the Raspberry Pi connected via cable, load the Octoprint and voila, you can use interface like the one on here. You can have even access to the webcam, etc. However, I wanted to take it a little bit further and enable mobile notifications and mobile control and that's what I did. As of right now I can see the print progress, uh, I can control the printer, I'll get some statistics on how long it will take and it will notify me when the print is complete. So this is something I've been working on for past week and it's so 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 close to be completed. Uh, I'll give you a sneak uh, a peek into how it works and what you can do with it and uh, what's the limitations right now and later on I will basically share everything in detail. So there's a couple of things. Obviously I've got Octoprint uh, running on Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you watch my channel you know I run Node Red server and I use that as a main brain to do everything so entire infrastructure for this project has been based on Node-RED. I use uh, Tasker as well to display the notification, especially with my um, what is it called? Perfect Notification 2.0 profile, which sends the JSON file to create these notifications. So what you can display, it displays um, information about the print, so I've got information like, let me just read it off the screen so I wouldn't uh, be confused. So I've got the printer details, I've got temperature of bed and extruder, I have a print time calculated by Octoprint, I have es uh, estimated time which is uh, basically updated on the fly and I've got filament length used for um, the uh, job and I have a progress uh, in percentage and all that information is being sent to here and also when the printing is done I've got different notification and that's cancel everything else. Uh, off from the mobile once it's done. You have access to the pictures, you have access to the live stream uh, if, if you have a webcam connected and uh, what else? You can uh, watch the time lap lapses and you can also, which is going to come later, we're going to be controlling the filament, turning on and off the printer itself because uh, the brains can be powered from Raspberry Pi, however to move all the motors you have to uh, enable the power supply and I'm going to be us using a sonar based uh, controller for this and uh, uh, basically well, integrate that with my Node-RED and also um, I might have mentioned that you can uh, uh, basically use a live view, uh, view, pause and resume the print or just cancel print completely if you're gonna see the picture after a couple of percent it's far from what you would expect to see on the printer. So uh, without further ado let me give you a quick uh, overview. So what you can see in here in detail is the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, running Octoprint. Uh, it's connected, there are two cables, one cable is micro USB cable and this is connected to the board and the second one is a camera module which is pointed basically at uh, where it's supposed to be pointing and as you can see that even though the printer itself uh, is powered off, uh, the logic board and the brains behind it are still thinking and I am able to establish the connection with the Octoprint uh, in here so you can see the Octoprint uh, instance running in my web browser. Now there's a couple of things that I have in an old red. I know it looks complicated at first but it's not actually that difficult and I'm gonna go 
uh, with small examples before I actually finish this off and uh, make a proper tutorial. So let me just present uh, how the notifications looks like so you would have an idea. What you can see on the screen is an octoprint right now and my Node-RED dashboard. We're going to be jumping into both in a second. Um, when you're starting a print on Octoprint, Octoprint, you probably want to upload the file. You can upload it manually or send it from Cura, it doesn't matter. So I have two files in here, let's pick one. And you can see the file is now ready. When I click and select it as active file, it will calculate a couple of details for me. It will give me uh, how much uh, filament I'm going to use, approximate time it's going to take, and the print time and time left will um, basically get filled in later on. It will also give me a percentage of the completed print. Now that information is already presented on the notification uh, that uh, I'm gonna have a slightly different notification when the file is loaded to the when the print starts. For now, I'm using the same information as most likely I'm gonna be passing the same information to myself. So uh, about the estimated time of the print and uh, time left. Now, um, I'm obviously not going to start printing job now, but I can simulate it using Node-RED. There's a couple of values I have access to, and let me just uh, show you what information I've extracted. So I have information about the uh, uh, printer, I have um, temperature of extruder and uh, of the bed, I uh, also have an estimated print time, uh, I have calculated print time and I have length of the filament and I've got print progress. Now when the uh, print is uh, basically started, we're gonna have a different notification. That's the notification we're gonna be running with. There is a progress bar and that's gonna be filled in and updated every percent. Uh, you can change that if you want. It will give you the information about your how long it's gonna take and uh, how, um, how much time left. You have access to live view, you can pause the print, you can stop or cancel the print. Uh, you can also resume if you pause it, so, so that's fine. And also, lastly, you have a picture. Picture is not loading yet, uh, I have a couple of things to fix first. However, when you click on it, it will give you uh, access to live webcam. So when I click on it, it will give you access to the live webcam. Now, that's going to be working as well. And lastly, you will be able to pull out uh, the time lapses so for example if you go uh, you have a network uh, mapped and you can access the uploads and as you can see I have a time lapse which also can be sent to your mobile When the printing is completed or you choose to remove the file from the current print clue, obviously the notification will disappear. If the print has been successful, you're going to get additional notification with a picture of a successful print and a, a notification saying so that will be uh, staying with you until you dismiss it. So that's basically the plan. Right, there are awesome things uh, coming up. Uh, I would expect everything to be finished within the next two weeks because I really want to put it to a garage, move it aside and don't think about it. Just use it to prototype things and create awesome projects. Now, if you're interested in what other upgrades I'm going to make, obviously I'm going to make uh, some boxes to so not run it like in this form. It's going to be one small box with minimal amount of cables uh, possible. Uh, so if you're interested in the upgrade path, I'll be posting that on my website and posting videos as well. But once this is completed, we're just going to move on move from the 3D printer upgrades uh, into actually making some projects with it, which is going to be exciting. So guys, if you're excited about it as much as me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want notifications, just uh, visit my social media, consider following. Uh, and it will pop into your feed whenever a new article is ready. Until then, I'm gonna pack myself up, head to work, and see you in a couple of days. I might drop an article about uh, ESP32 with camera. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, until then, take care.